It all started because I got this rash. Like I got a little rash across my chest and on my arms a little bit, and my eyes started turning red. Six months of accelerating and debilitating physical symptoms left 21-year-old T.J. Reed at death's door before he was finally diagnosed with a severe form of cancer. T.J.'s cancer, they didn't give him a long time. A lot of people that get diagnosed only have maybe a year, sometimes they have a couple of years. It's transformed like three times into different things. For some reason, every couple of months it like transforms into like a meaner cancer. I don't know why. The only cure for it would, to ha would be to have a transplant. A bone marrow transplant or a stem cell transplant. Before the search for a donor can start, the Reeds need over $30,000 for screening possible matches, a fee not covered by insurance. You only have, you know, a short amount of time to get that money up there. People, like, right away came to, came to our aid, um, and they, they did everything. They didn't ask any of our time, which we wanted to give, but they wanted us out of it. TJ, TJ, TJ. From friends and co-workers to complete strangers, the community forms a circle of support around TJ following his diagnosis. Our community has been really supportive. I've never seen them come together so fast. They put together an entire banquet for us because it's a really expensive process to search for a donor. There's also a soccer tournament because we're big in the soccer community. TJ, what's up, man? I'm going to sacrifice our bodies today for the cause. <laughs> That was probably the biggest time of need in our lives ever that we ever had. And to see people help us to that extreme was pretty extraordinary. You can't really describe the support. Um, so we're, you know, um, pretty lucky. Once the Reeds were able to raise the money, a slim donor pool presented another obstacle. When we first started, he had 60 people that supposedly matched him from just the U.S. and they were like, that is really good. And then as they took it further, like basically wiped out all 60 of those people. The search for a donor goes global. And finally, a donor is found in Germany. This dude in Germany matched up perfectly. I think it's been harder on my family than me because I, I don't know, I take it pretty well. I don't, I don't really get too sad or I get kind of mad, I don't know, I get kind of angry at just like the, the cancer, I guess. Is it just clinic today? TJ's girlfriend, Ashley, steps up to be his primary caregiver during his complicated treatment. She's learned a lot about the cancer. She reads all the time information about what's going on and what he should be eating. With time so hard and you so weak, I will stand strong, for us I will speak. For us, I will hold on. No, you won't leave. For us, I will always love you. I will always believe. A brand new life shows how simple the donor process can be. With animation that explains just how stem cells are harvested and what they do in a recovering cancer patient's body. There's a picture of the cells. TJ getting rejuvenated. The Reed's story is told in their own words and through the use of the family's home video. And all of a sudden, bam, three, seven, coming at you. But that's what they've been tracking. TJ's going home. A brand new life is an inspiring and touching story of hope, love, and kindness, and will leave an indelible impression on the way you think about life and the lives of those you love.